I am often asked, what's the first thing I do every morning when I wake up? Well, you're going to find out right now. The first thing I do is I get out of bed and I look at the clock. Is that an appropriate time for me to be getting up? Or am I having to go to the restroom? If it's a time to get up, this is what I do. You're in on the secret here. I connect to the four forces, starting with earth. Just breathing in earth, breathing up earth. And then I take a nice deep breath and I connect to the universe. Breathe that energy down from the universe right into the crown. Breathing down the energy of the universe. Yin and yang, the yin of the earth, the yang of the universe. Then I form the triangle fingers, index finger and the thumb, in a loose triangle, and I place this hand position right in front of the third eye. My third eye is right there, and I breathe into it. This is the energy of nature, and usually in the mornings I um, can hear something going on in my backyard. Uh, oftentimes it's a raccoon. A raccoon. In the summer, the raccoons are after my tomatoes. In the fall and spring, they're after my grapefruits and lemons. So I breathe in the energy of nature. It's there. It's all around you. If you can look outside and connect to something um, that you can see in the mornings, oftentimes I can't see. So I breathe in nature. And then I stretch out my hands, keeping the triangle fingers intact. Drop them down, keeping the triangle fingers intact still. Then I take a nice deep breath. And then I inhale up into the mystery of life. Right here, I'm in this hand position called uh, lotus flower hands, where the petals of, of the lotus flower are mirroring your fingers and your pinky fingers are pointed right at REN17, which is the acupressure point that leads into our emotional center, the Lotus Heart Jewel. And this is the mystery of life, and I always start off um, early in the morning, your first time out of bed, uh, you're clear, you're connected to that other side of dream state. And I ask the first question, ask myself a question. And oftentimes it's, the question is, what energy do I need today? It depends. Uh, if I've got a day off from teaching, um, oftentimes it's shopping, cleaning my house, doing laundry. Uh, but if I'm teaching, then it might be the energy of uh, giving out the love that I give in my practice to anyone who attends. And most times I don't know what I'm going to teach. Uh, so I surrender to the energy of the mystery. I connect to the mystery of life right here at our emotional center. And this is why these profound questions are so important. You connect to that just out of the dream state. And Here's something that I, I normally don't teach, but since you're getting let in on the secrets of what I do, and these are my private practices, I'm going to show you what I do. I'm going to add a healing sound into the, these uh, energies of the four forces. So to do that, we're going to take our hands right up to the throat, fingertips pointed at each other, and we're going to make the heart whisper sound, which is ha. Ah. Whispered. So take a nice deep inhale. <sighs> really squeeze out that ha at the bottom. Then I take a nice deep inhale and palm over palm over the crown, connecting to the universe. And I make what we call the Sanjiao whisper, which is he whispered. So it's a So that draw out that he, this connects all three of the treasures together, all the way down, drawing out that he, really squeezing your, your abs to get the last of the air. Then I pull my hands back 
dropping my thumbs to what we call tiger mouth. Thumbs dropped, exposing hegu, which is at the webbing of the index finger and the thumb. And I connect to the energy of the earth, which is the whisper sound is who whispered like an owl would whisper. So it's a nice deep breath and then And then I come to surrender hands. We're connected to the earth, to the universe, to the mystery. And then to cap it off, the last healing sound I use is the healing sound for the kidneys, which is So it's a So let's just do that one, one more time. Earth, universe, nature, the mystery, profound question. How many people are tuning into this? Bring my hands up to the throat center. Heart whisper. Nice deep breath. Palm over palm, connect to the energy of the universe and then Sanjao whisper. And then come up, pulling my hands back, thumbs are in tiger mouth. And then, and then surrender hands. So, connected to the earth, connected to the universe, connected to nature, connected to the mystery, and adding in those four healing sounds. Guaranteed, that will start your day off right. And then, I get up, go downstairs, turn on my teapot, and I come back upstairs, especially during the winter when it's cold. Uh, I've got a big house, uh, I usually just have the heat going and in the bedroom um, during the winter time. And then I go into what I call connecting to the four forces flow. So we're gonna do that. Four forces flow right here. It's another one of my, my uh, favorite exercises to do on my own when I'm, when I'm just in my own private place. Uh, so we start with our hands uh, connected to the earth. And then from here, nice deep inhale, and then it's like we're parting the river, parting the waters. Exhale, spiral the hands at the waist. This opens up the body. Then we dip in to the energy of the earth. It's like we're pulling up that energy of earth right to the lotus heart jewel. Then we exhale, you can even use the heart whisper here. Then take a nice deep inhale. We end up in the lotus flower hand position at the lotus heart jewel. Ask a question, a profound question. What energy do I need today for what's going on in my life today? Then I exhale and I can use, I'm going to use the triple warmer or Sanja whisper. And then I inhale up. It's like I'm connecting to the energy of nature, pointing my fingers right at the third eye. And then I exhale and I use that Sanjo whisper again. And then I float my hands to surrender hands. So let's just do that four forces flow for several times, just so you get the hang of it. Um, you can always go back and rewatch this, uh, this video. So we're connected to the energy of the earth. Nice deep inhale. Exhale, it's like you're parting the waters. It's like you're preparing for your day. What's the path? You are the path. That's a, like a Qigong um, um, mystery. Pull up the energy. Exhale, surrender to the mystery. Inhale, ask a profound question. What's for breakfast? <laughs> Exhale down, inhale, embracing the energy of nature, 
Exhale, bringing that energy of nature all the way through, all the way through. And then surrender hands. And then let's just flow with this one more time. I won't talk. I'll just flow, you can follow me along. Oftentimes I'll do several parts of the exercise repeated. Whatever the energy is, whatever I need, I connect to it without form, without conscious flow, and just let the energy reveal what I need. And then shake it out. So that's the four, connecting to the four forces, and then the four forces flow. All right, so next, what would my favorite exercises be without some Goonie Bird? Some Goonie Bird exercises. So we're gonna do uh, the first one, and this is a balance exercise. In fact, they're both balance. Both of the Goonie Birds that, that we're gonna do today are balance exercises. So we're gonna start with the Goonie Bird learns how to walk. And for those of you that don't know what a Goonie Bird is, it's a Laysan albatross. Uh, there's lots of uh, videos on YouTube where you can watch how funny they are. Uh, Goonie birds are very graceful when they're flying. Uh, An albatross is a big bird, it's got a big wingspan. They're very graceful when they're floating on the water and they'll often go out into the Pacific Ocean a thousand miles from land and just kind of check things out and do some fishing. But on land, when they're babies, they are a disaster. They're, they have trouble walking. So this is a balance exercise. Goonie Bird learns how to walk. So we've got our wings, our little stubby wings. We haven't figured out what to do with those wings yet. We've got them off to the side about 45 degrees. This will help us balance. And it's okay if balance is an issue for you to have a chair available. It also helps if balance is an issue to have your feet closer together. So your hands are out to the side, and uh, we're gonna start. Goonie bird, I'm gonna be a goonie bird, learning how to walk. So if you're mirroring me, you're gonna take your left leg and you're gonna kick it over, up, and down. Okay, <laughs> so far so good. Let's do the other leg. Kick it over, up, and down. Okay, you got the hang of it? Let's just flow and you don't have to follow me. And let's hope that I don't end up on my bottom. Uh, it's the one exercise that when I taught it, it's the only time I've ever fallen uh, and uh, teaching this exercise to a class. It was about nine, 10 years ago. And everybody was aghast and I was laughing because I was okay. So let's just do this a little bit. It takes a little bit to get the hang of this. In Qigong, we're always working with the joints, with synovial fluid, with flexibility. It's really important as we mature. And it's even important if we're not maturing, if we're just staying 29 years old for the rest of our lives. Uh, this is one of my favorite exercises and uh, the actual name of this exercise is the leg swings but since i used to fly uh, in the air force out to midway island which is a sanctuary for the goonie birds um, i decided to call this goonie bird learns how to walk because it's exactly kind of the way they do they just work their legs and they have their little stubby wings to keep them balanced. <laughs> so this is a fun one. If you have kids or grandkids, it doesn't matter if they're adult, you could do this. But again, if balance is an issue for you, have a chair. It's okay to have a chair there to hold on to. You don't want anybody getting hurt. Let's do two more. Kick it over, back, up, and down. Over, back, up, whoa! 
Almost did a carrier landing there. Okay. All right, so that's Goonie Bird Learns How to Walk. This next one is Goonie Bird Learns How to March. So on Midway Island, one of the big things is when I flew for the Air Force, we'd fly in mail and supplies for the Navy there at Midway. The biggest thing our commanders told us is whatever you do, don't kill a Goonie Bird with your airplane. <laughs> so the Navy would go out before we landed and it's about, we'd fly from Hawaii, Honolulu to uh, Midway, it's about a three hour flight. And right before, when, when we talked to the tower on our way in to Midway, uh, they would bring the Navy guys out in trucks with brooms and they'd sweep the Goonie Birds off the runway so that we wouldn't ingest them into our engines or kill them by landing on them. So this is, uh, you know, it's kind of a, a fun, imaginative little exercise. I imagine the Navy guys out there marching the Goonie Birds off the runway so I can land my, my cargo plane there for the Air Force. So this is Goonie Bird Learns How to March and it's another balancing exercise. I will show you a modification if balance is an issue for you. This is about gradual gaining of flexibility over time. Uh, no pain, no discomfort. So we're going to start with the standard Goonie Bird Learns How to March. So it's an if you're mirroring me, we're going to start with our right leg. So inhaling up, exhaling down. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. So to modify, you could keep your toes on the ground. So it's an inhale, toes on the ground, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Let's just do this for a little bit. So this is one that's kind of fun to do uh, with the kids and grandkids. And it is a balance exercise. So you're going to gain flexibility, strength in the legs. Let's do one more to each side. So we inhale up exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Surrender hands and notice how your body feels after doing that. Goonie Bird learns how to march. It always makes me smile. And again, uh, check out some of the YouTube videos on Goonie Birds because they are hilarious. You want a good laugh? You'll get a laugh. I mean, they're, they're just a disaster on land, but they're so graceful in the air. So this next, this last of, of the exercises, my favorites, um, before we close is uh, Kuan Yin paints the rainbows, paints the rainbows. You're looking at my shirt. It's got the colors of what we call the Taoist five organs when we do an organ cleanse. Um, so this, this flowing exercise, Kuan Yin paints rainbows, paints the rainbows, uh, is going to, we're going to work with the colors of all of our internal Taoist five organs. Uh, if you're looking at my shirt, uh, the lungs, it has it gray, but we're going to use white. Kidneys, blue. Kidneys is a water element in Chinese medicine. And then the liver is green, so a green rainbow. The heart is red, that's a fire element, summer, uh, a red rainbow. And then we come to the spleen and pancreas. Uh, they have kind of a yellow orange on the shirt, yellow, orange, it doesn't matter. Uh, but we're gonna paint a rainbow uh, with those five colors in each individual color. So we're gonna start by, this is a shibashi uh, exercise to start. We're gonna get, get the energy going and, with the shibashi, it's uh, one of Marilyn's favorites. It's called opening the flow. And it's actually a Tai Chi, and shibashi is a form of Tai Chi. Uh, Chang tai, tai Chi, I think. So we start in surrender, or we start with our hands on our sides, and feet are comfortable with the part, and we inhale up, pulling up. 
energy and exhale down. And just get a little bit of a, almost like a gentle undulation in the spine as you flow with this. So you're pulling up the earth, very grounding, very grounding, opening the flow. We'll do two more of these and then we'll get into the painting rainbows part. Last one, inhaling up and then we exhale down. All right, so now we're gonna flow and we're gonna start with the lungs. So we're gonna, we're gonna paint a rainbow of white. So if you're mirroring me, it's gonna be your left hand coming up, your left hand goes around and you're painting, just imagine you're painting a white rainbow in the, in the sky, a white rainbow, almost like a cloud. And then inhale up, that palm is up, it just did the paint. And then you flip it over at the top, exhale down. And we're gonna do the same thing with the other hand. So we inhale up, all the way around. Exhale as we come around, we're painting a white rainbow for the lung. White is the healing color of the lung. We come inhaling palm up, the other one's palm down. Flip it over at the top, exhale, both palms down as we come down. Then we move on to the kidneys. The color is blue. We're painting a rainbow just of blue. So we're inhaling blue sky up. Exhale as you come down. Hand gets right up at the leg and we inhale that palm up, the other's palm down. Flip it over, exhale down. So we do it with the other hand. Inhale, painting a blue rainbow, a rainbow of blue. Just imagine that color in the sky. Coming down, palm up, flip it over, exhale, palm down. Now we go to green, a green rainbow, the color of the liver, the wood element. Inhale, green, paint a green rainbow. Exhale as you come down and back. Inhale that palm up, flip it over, exhale, palms down. And the other hand, inhale, paint another green rainbow. Down, inhale, palm up. Exhale, palm down. Then we go to the heart, a red rainbow. Inhale, a red rainbow. Imagine a red rainbow in the sky after a rainstorm. What would that look like in your imagination? Palm up, red rainbow. Exhale, both palms down. And then to the other side, painting a red rainbow across the sky. Inhaling up, flip it over, exhale down. And then we come to the spleen, pancreas, yellow rainbow. Inhale, yellow rainbow. Paint a yellow rainbow in the sky. Inhale, palm is up, the other palm down. Exhale, flip it over, palm down. Last one. Inhale, yellow rainbow for the spleen and pancreas. Palm up, flip it over, palm down. And now we're gonna paint a rainbow with all five colors. So inhale, paint a rainbow all the way around. Five colors. Come up, exhale, palm down. Last one, five colors, white, Blue, green, red, yellow, rainbow. Just a rainbow. Exhale down to surrender hands. And notice how you feel. Huan Yin paints rainbows. I love this exercise. It's one of my favorites. Ah, doesn't that feel great?